New development as millions wait for relief. Tonight, late news on that $900 billion stimulus package. Let's get right to ABC White House correspondent Rachel Scott. Tonight, President Trump finally signing the $900 billion COVID relief bill, nearly a week after it was passed in Congress. For days, the president demanding Congress increase the size of the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000, something House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the president agreed on. But Republicans wouldn't budge on the deal's price tag. The president signing the bill from Florida, where he is spending the Christmas holiday with his family. The bill in limbo for days. The White House had indicated the president would sign it when it hit his desk. But in a surprise move, he released this Twitter video Tuesday blasting the compromise. It really is a disgrace. Republicans caught off guard, pleading with Trump to sign the bill that came together after months of bipartisan negotiations with members of the president's team. If you want to make a $2,000 check, negotiate that from the beginning. I understand he wants to be remembered for advocating for big checks, but... Uh... The danger is he'll be advo he'll, he'll be remembered for uh, chaos and, and misery and erratic behavior if, uh, if he allows this to expire. Time was running out for the president to act. Unemployment benefits ran out this weekend, and the government was set to shut down at midnight tomorrow. The president's treasury secretary was on the record telling Americans their stimulus checks would arrive before the new year. People are going to see this money at the beginning of next week. The whiplash from Washington has kept Americans on edge. It is an insult to small businesses. It's an insult to the working poor, and it's an insult to the unemployed. I worry and I care about myself and my family. We need COVID relief so bad. Desperation at this point to get that bill passed for the latest. Let's go to Rachel Scott in Washington. Rachel, we're hearing from so many Americans who are suffering, many of them wondering what's happening next, especially with the president tweeting just moments ago. Lawmakers will be returning back to Washington this week to consider overriding the president just days after he vetoed the defense spending bill. Leaders on both sides of the aisle say that money is absolutely critical for the military, and if it is successful, it will be the first veto override of the Trump administration. Lindsay? Rachel Scott, thanks so much. The president has indeed uh, signed this legislation. Uh, so uh, five days after making this threat, President Trump has signed uh, this massive spending bill, which includes $900 billion of coronavirus relief. But of course, we should note, Dana, that this only happened after the president allowed those unemployment benefits for more than an estimated 12 million Americans to lapse at midnight last night. Uh, so uh, while the president is signing this legislation, it is not without some pain for millions of Americans that has already occurred. Uh, but at the same time, perhaps millions of Americans can also begin to breathe a sigh of relief this evening, knowing that some help at least will be on the way. Yeah, and Jeremy, I was just gonna uh, take it back from you to let you look down at your phone. I, I've been there before. I know what it's like to try to get news from sources while you're talking on TV. It's not easy. If anybody can do it, you can, I know. Uh, but th this is big news, uh, and it shouldn't be big news. It shouldn't be big news because this should have been signed the moment that the president got this legislation. And it's because his team was involved. His Treasury Secretary was a major negotiator in this bipartisan deal. Was it what the president wanted? No. Was it what Democrats wanted? No. Was it what his Republican colleagues on Capitol Hill wanted? No. That's why it's called compromise. It's not called I get everything I want. I mean, it's the, the art of legislating. And the fact is that what the president has been saying for the past several days on Twitter that there needs to be a higher amount uh, when it comes to the direct payment what he just signed, what is now the law of the land, people will start to get who qualify $600 checks for individuals. He wanted it to be $2,000. Democrats wanted that all along. They were ready to try to call his bluff. What we don't know, and as you mentioned, yeah. is whether or not somehow behind the scenes he was able to convince his fellow Republicans they were the ones pushing back on that $2,000 payment, whether he, he somehow convinced them uh, to go along with it in some way, shape or form this coming week. We don't know the answer to that right now.